Hello everyone, my name is Chu Cao. I'm a senior developer at the MathWorks. In this video, I will show you how you can develop stereo visual slam algorithms for automated driving applications. This is a typical feature-based stereo visual slam workflow. You can use the computer vision toolbox to build the pipeline. Let's go over the steps one by one. You start with map initialization. The initial 3D map can be created by computing a disparity map between the two stereo images and then computing the 3D word points. Once the map is initialized, you will process each new pair of stereo image as follows. In the tracking stage, you match features of the left image in the stereo pair with the features of the previous left image to build 3D to 2D correspondences. Then, in the localization stage, you can use the correspondences to estimate the camera pose in the world coordinates. To refine the estimation, use motion-only bundle adjustment. While localizing the camera, you can map the environment at the same time. There are two ways to do that. One is using triangulation to create new 3D world points across different pairs of stereo images. The other way is using the disparity map within the same pair of stereo image to compute 3D points. The new map can be further refined using bundle adjustment. Now repeat the process for each new frame until you obtain a map of the environment and the postgraph of camera views. The pipeline terminates when loop closure is detected. That is, the camera returns to a place that has been visited before. Once you find loop closure using the back of features approach, you can optimize the postgraph to reduce the drift. Now let's see how stereo visual slam can be used in automated driving. If you have automated driving toolbox, you can leverage Unreal simulation to generate synthetic data and the camera ground truth of different scenarios to test your algorithms. To set up the scene, use the Simulation 3D Scene Configuration block. Here, we select the parking lot scene. You can add more vehicles into the scene using the Simulation 3D Vehicle with Ground Following block. Next, you need to set up the stereo camera. You can use two Simulation 3D camera blocks to build a stereo camera, one representing the left camera and one representing the right camera. The parameters you need to provide are intrinsic parameters and the stereo baseline. Once you set up the scene and the stereo camera, you can run the simulation to generate data. With the data, you can test the stereo visual slam pipeline. Here, the top figure shows the tracked features in the current stereo image. The lower figure displays the reconstructed parking lot and the estimated camera trajectory. Compared with monocular visual slam, stereo visual slam produces more accurate results. This is because the stereo camera provides the extra depth information and avoids the scale drift problem in monocular visual slam. If you would like to know more about visual slam using a stereo camera, please visit our documentation and try the examples. Thanks for watching.